Hey, Mom, what's up with all these gnats? They're all over the window here. This is gross. So, my parents love all these plants. I think that's where the gnats and fly insects love to hang out. You got dry, dead flowers and plants everywhere. It's a home for fly insects. I mean, even in the living room, look at all these plants. And why, mom, why are you keeping all these dry flowers? Some insect sprays, a lot of nets in my parents' house. So let's go ahead and try this fruit fly trap right here. Number one selling. Oh wow, mom, that's a lot of plants in your house. You're just waiting for insects to come. What's up, guys? One by J Root Productions. So today I went to my local Walmart. Seeing that my parents have a huge nets problem. Yes, it's all over the house, especially in the living room area. Probably because of all the plants, food left out, such as these fruits you see. This is ridiculous, guys. So, I decided to try this tarot fruit fly trap that I purchased from Walmart for $5.99. Um, I think the first thing that I saw that stood out was it said it is the number one flying selling fruit fly trap it has a 90 day supply in here it's fast acting um i figure you know fruit flies gnats similar um dna i could be wrong but let's go ahead and give it a try regardless ready to use non-staining lure this features two traps i think the older design only has one trap but then again it might be a little bit cheaper there's a solution in there let's go ahead and take a look at the box in the back tells you a little bit how to use it Fill, place the traps upright in the location where you see a lot of the insects. Pour the solution inside there, and place the traps around the area where you see it. Discard, discard after 45 days of use. Common areas are sinks, dishwashers, near trash, and fruits. Let's go ahead and open this up. And there you see in the back, I also purchased the Raid insect spray and also the fly ribbon, which. I've reviewed in the past and they do wonders. In addition, I bought one of these Raid Fly Insect Spray because it's 20% free and I wanted something that kills on the spot. And I believe this kills a lot of the flying insects, um, which includes gnats, I believe. You can see right there, kills flies, mosquitoes, and other listed bugs on contact. And if you look at down here, indoor flies, mosquitoes, small flying moths. Nine non biting gnats, fruit flies. See up there in the window, I see a non gnats right there. I just spray those. One is moving slightly, but we'll check back like after a half hour and see if they're dead or fly away. So it's been well over an hour and those three gnats are definitely still dead. That goes to show that the raid spray definitely is effective and kills on the spot. So straight out of the box, you see the Tarot Solution. Pretty big bottle compared to the old design. But we're supposed to use that and split in half between these two containers. It looks like a Red Delicious Apple. There you see a Taro logo on the front with a side where you can tell what's being trapped or how much liquid is in there. There you see the hose. They are, actually, these hose are bigger than what I expected because gnats are typically a lot smaller. So this is typically for like fruit flies and flies. But we will still use it regardless. Open this up. And there you see the bowl shaped entrapment let's go ahead and pour this in there let's go ahead and take a quick sniff it smells like apple cider vinegar i bet you you'll probably make the same solution if you guys have something 
of a container that looks like that. Pour half in here, half in the other one. So I decided to save a little bit just in case for future occurrences when I need it. There should be enough solution there. It's definitely apple cider vinegar, guys. I'm gonna place the cap back on and I'm gonna put it in a location where I see heavy insects traffic. One in the kitchen and one in the living room. How about that? Hey mom, what are you cooking? What a messy kitchen. So I'm gonna put one right here. Do you see all the plants? Do you see a net right there? I'm gonna put that right there. We're gonna check back tomorrow. And one in the family room. Um, you know what? That's probably a good location right there. By the plants. Let's try this. The electrocution method too. That is so satisfying to hear. And we've been using these raid fly ribbon. Oh my goodness. You guys see all these black spots all the way up there? That's all gnats. Same thing with this one right there. So we've also been using this <laughs> electrocution method. Let's see if we can spot any. Yeah, there are a lot of nets all around us, the periphery. It's December 28th, roughly four days since I put in the terror fly, fruit fly trap. Let's go ahead and check to see if we've caught anything. Well, first off, I know this right off the bat. There are still nets on the windows that you see right there. So there is where I put one of the fruit fly trap. Let's see if we've caught anything. Let me bust this open. What? None? I mean, I still smell the vinegar, so it's definitely strong. Maybe it's just a poor location. Let's check up on the other one. All right, so the other one, I believe my mom relocated it to this plant right here. So this is the kitchen area. Sorry, it's, I know it's messy. So like I mentioned, we have a lot of plants. I'm curious to see if we could find anything in here. Oh my goodness, that is freaking nasty. How many are there in there? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I count roughly eleven. That is quite a lot, guys. So it's just the location. Make sure you put it, as you can tell, near the plants. Um, and probably better off in the kitchen because you have all these aroma and food going on. I think it's the best location. So this goes to show it doesn't only apply to this trap doesn't only apply to fruit fly traps even works on gnats as you can tell um, the tiny gnats have fallen in and drowned definitely a lot easier to kill than fleas because those are ridiculous to kill so i'm what the heck is this down there anyway i'm gonna put it back in here and i'm gonna put the other fly fruit fly trap near the plants so it works um, perhaps if you could make your own, if you could find like a little container like that, plastic container with holes in there, uh, you could probably make it your own and just buy some apple cider vinegar and mix with like detergent. But the taro fruit fly trap definitely works. I recommend it. It's kind of affordable, but my video shows that it works. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and happy hunting.